the nine most anti-inflammatory foods you can eat inflammation can be both good and bad on one hand it helps your body defend itself from infection and injury on the other hand chronic inflammation can lead to weight gain and disease stress inflammatory foods and low activity levels can make this risk even greater however studies demonstrate that some foods can fight inflammation here are nine anti-inflammatory foods 1. Berries. Berries are small fruits that are packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Although dozens of varieties exist, some of the most common include strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Berries contain antioxidants called anthocyanins. These compounds have anti-inflammatory effects that may reduce your risk of disease. Your body produces natural killer cells, NK cells, which help keep your immune system functioning properly. In one study in men, those who consumed blueberries every day produced significantly more NK cells than those who did not. In another study, adults with excess weight who ate strawberries had lower levels of certain inflammatory markers associated with heart disease. 2. Fatty fish. Fatty fish are a great source of protein and the long-chain omega-3 fatty acids EPA and DHA. Although all types of fish contain some omega-3 fatty acids, these fatty fish are among the best sources. Salmon, sardines, herring, mackerel, anchovies. EPA and DHA reduce inflammation that can lead to metabolic syndrome, heart disease, diabetes, and kidney disease. Your body metabolizes these fatty acids into compounds called resolvins and protectins, which have anti-inflammatory effects. Studies have found that people consuming salmon or EPA and DHA supplements experienced reductions in the inflammatory marker C-reactive protein CRP. However, in another study, people with an irregular heartbeat who took EPA and DHA daily experienced no difference in inflammatory markers, compared with those who received a placebo. 3. Broccoli. Broccoli is extremely nutritious. It's a cruciferous vegetable, along with cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. Research has shown that eating a lot of cruciferous vegetables is associated with a decreased risk of heart disease and cancer. This may be related to the anti-inflammatory effects of the antioxidants they contain. Broccoli is rich in sulforaphane, an antioxidant that fights inflammation by reducing your levels of cytokines and NFKB, which drive inflammation. 4. Avocados. Avocados may be one of the few supposed superfoods worthy of the title. They're packed with potassium, magnesium, fiber, and heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. They also contain carotenoids and tocopherols, which are linked to reduced cancer risk. In addition, one compound in avocados may reduce inflammation in young skin cells. In one study, when people consumed a slice of avocado with a hamburger, they had lower levels of the inflammatory markers NFKB and IL-6, compared with participants who ate the hamburger alone. 5. Green tea. You've probably heard that green tea is one of the healthiest beverages you can drink. It reduces your risk of heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, obesity, and other conditions. Many of its benefits are due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, especially a substance called epigallocatechin 3 gallet EGCG. EGCG inhibits inflammation by reducing pro-inflammatory cytokine production and damage to the fatty acids in your cells. 6. Peppers. Bell peppers and chili peppers are loaded with vitamin C and antioxidants that have powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Bell peppers provide the antioxidant quercetin, which may reduce one marker of oxidative damage in people with sarcoidosis, an inflammatory disease. Chili peppers contain sinapic acid and ferulic acid, which may reduce inflammation and lead to healthier aging. 7. Mushrooms. While thousands of varieties of mushrooms exist worldwide, only a few are edible and grown commercially. These include truffles, portobello mushrooms, and shiitake. Mushrooms are very low in calories and rich in selenium, copper, and all of the B vitamins. They also contain phenols and other antioxidants that provide anti-inflammatory protection. A special type of mushroom called lion's mane may potentially reduce low-grade, obesity-related inflammation. 
However, one study found that cooking mushrooms lowered their anti-inflammatory compounds significantly. Thus, it may be best to eat them raw or lightly cooked. 8. Tomatoes. The tomato is a nutritional powerhouse. Tomatoes are high in vitamin C, potassium, and lycopene, an antioxidant with impressive anti-inflammatory properties. Lycopene may be particularly beneficial for reducing pro-inflammatory compounds related to several types of cancer. One study determined that drinking tomato juice significantly decreased inflammatory markers in women with excess weight, but not those with obesity. Note that cooking tomatoes in olive oil can maximize the amount of lycopene you absorb. That's because lycopene is a carotenoid, a nutrient that's better absorbed with a source of fat. 9. Cherries. Cherries are delicious and rich in antioxidants, such as anthocyanins and catechins, which fight inflammation. Although the health-promoting properties of tart cherries have been studied more than other varieties, sweet cherries also provide benefits. In one study, when people consumed 280 grams of cherries per day for one month, their levels of the inflammatory marker CRP decreased and stayed low for 28 days after they stopped eating cherries. Inflammatory foods. In addition to filling your diet with nutritious anti-inflammatory ingredients, it's important to limit your consumption of foods that can promote inflammation. For example, processed foods like fast food, frozen meals, and processed meats have been associated with higher levels of inflammatory markers like CRP. Meanwhile, fried foods and partially hydrogenated oils contain trans fats, a type of unsaturated fatty acid that has also been linked to increased levels of inflammation. Other foods like sugar-sweetened beverages and refined carbs have likewise been shown to promote inflammation. Here are some examples of foods that have been linked to increased levels of inflammation. Junk foods, fast food, convenience meals, potato chips, pretzels, refined carbohydrates, white bread, pasta, white rice, crackers, flour tortillas, biscuits, fried foods, french fries, donuts, fried chicken, mozzarella sticks, egg rolls, sugar-sweetened beverages, soda, sweet tea, energy drinks, sports drinks, processed meats, bacon, beef jerky, canned meat, salami, hot dogs, smoked meat, trans fats, shortening, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, margarine. Even low levels of inflammation on a chronic basis can lead to disease. Do your best to keep inflammation in check by choosing a wide variety of delicious, antioxidant-rich foods. Peppers, dark chocolate, fish, and extra virgin olive oil are just a few foods that can help you combat inflammation and reduce your risk of illness. Content source www.healthline.com. Thanks for watching.